Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Hopscotch Adventures, Beowulf and Grendel. The great hall of King Horathgar, the Dane rang with music and laughter. Nearby, in a dark, stinking swamp, something stirred as night fell. The monster Grendel hated all men because they were not like him. They laughed and made music. He wanted only to kill and destroy. Grendel's eyes burnt red and his heart filled with rage. Full of hatred, he crawled from the swamp. Crash! One blow of his claw smashed the door to pieces. Men screamed as Grendel attacked. Their swords broke against his tough skin. Grendel filled a huge dragon skin bag with human flesh. Blood dripped from the bag as he dragged it back to his lair. The monster came back night after night. He killed again and again and again. Stories of the evil Grendel reached the great warrior Beowulf. Beowulf had fought many monsters. Grendel kills men, women and children. Everyone told him, Horathgar's people are in despair. Then I shall sail with my men to save them, Beowulf vowed. We'll leave tonight. No one can fight Grendel, King Horathgar told Beowulf. The force of evil protects him. Swords and armor are no use against him. I will fight as he fights, with neither sword nor armor, said Beowulf. Then you'll die, sighed Horathgar. Good always defeats evil, Beowulf said, and my soul is good. That night, Beowulf and his followers waited in Horathgar's great hall. Sure enough, Grendel came slithering from the swamp. The door of the great hall was bound by metal bars, but Grendel's huge claws snapped them like twigs. Beowulf faced the monster. As Grendel lifted his immense claws to strike, Beowulf grabbed him by the wrist. The warrior's iron grip pressed deep into the monster's tough skin. Grendel screamed in pain, but he could not escape the strange power of the warrior's grip. Grendel struggled wildly, trying to bite off Beowulf's head, his arms, his legs. But somehow, Beowulf held on. Then, ah! Grendel tore free, leaving his arm behind him. The monster fled, dripping blood from his terrible wound. Beowulf followed him to the muddy swamp where the water boiled blood red as the monster died. Beowulf stuck Grendel's head on a spear and took it to King Horathgar. The good in Beowulf had given him the strength to beat the evil Grendel. As his ship sailed away, music and laughter rang round Horathgar's great hall once more. The end. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. I'll see you soon in the next video. And kids, remember always to be good and kind. Bye for now. Thank you.